The call meeting to order seven o'clock, same the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Here. Van Van Buren. Here. Jeff Corpenny. Here. We're the guest speakers tonight. Correspondence. A couple things. Yeah, you're done. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> I don't know if all of the trustees received them. Did you guys get that from the uh, Department of Transportation about training course flyer, quick clear training about on site safety? I'll leave that with you guys. That was really all I had. Uh, a couple things I had real quick was um, the road work we did this year is completed on Somerset Road, Dogwood Lakes. Um, thank everybody for the cooperation. Uh, hope everything going good out there. Uh, things go pretty smooth. Mm -hmm. Look, look for you. We have road. Uh, another thing I had was um, Licking County is hosting um, a couple small events. One of them down here by Hope Elementary, uh, County Line Road. They're going to put up a new um, Licking County welcome sign. And uh, there are dates and times on here. I'll leave this. And then uh, that evening, they're going to do a small presentation on the history of the area. Um, the National Road, Gray Shop, Brownsville. So I'll leave this up here if anybody wants to see it. That's all I have. I attended the Licking County Township Association meeting and they gave each township yearly reports, different things like that. Uh, either tonight or tomorrow, I'll hang some of the stuff on the wall. They're different though. Um, different maps of the township, uh, CAUV parcels and that type of thing. Uh, letter from Lincoln County Planning Commission. This month there wasn't anything pertinent to our township at their meeting. I went to the courthouse to get all the documents on the CMI Waste versus Bowling Green Township Trustees. If anyone wants that number, it's case CB. Well, actually, it starts with 2000, it's 2013 CB 01011. And the last thing is. The Board of Elections contacted me. The delivery time for the machines is Saturday, November 2nd at 10 a.m. I'll make sure I leave this with Barb because I know she's the one that's unlocking the building for that. And that's it for a correspondence for me. Okay. Uh, another safety. Uh, fire companies next month we're going to invite all the fire departments in to review and sign contracts uh, for fire protection and EMS services. So that'll be next meeting. We'll have the fire departments here. Zoning. Ah, uh, yes. You have a copy of my report. Per conversation with prosecuting attorney. Uh, September, wait a minute, let me go through it. Per conversation with Assistant Prosecuting Attorney Amy Brown Thompson, I was in her office and a prior email regarding aerial photos needed to upgrade the, fi upgrade the files for violations which have been turned over to the Prosecuting Attorney's Office. I am requesting um, the aerial photos that I brought up before 
So I'm requesting that we, the uh, zoning thing, get aerial photos. So I need to vote on that. Um, I would also like to send the violation for address 16246 Laurel Hill to the prosecuting attorneys, which I need to vote on that. That violation was submitted one year ago. They got a variance. Uh, they requested a variance. It was approved in February. Still no lot split has been produced. The prosecuting attorney said it is time to do something. So I need uh, to bring it to the table and have it voted on to send that to the prosecuting attorney as well. All right, I can talk about it one at a time. Um, the aerial photos, I also spoke with Amy. Uh, I spoke with Barb. She kind of told me um, what they had requested. So I called the prosecutor's office and talked to them. And, uh, can, can I hear you, please? Yeah, what exactly are they for also? And she had stated that, uh, that her office <coughs> is requesting an updated aerial photo for photos um, of a couple different properties um, to move forward with some cases uh, to see if any, um, you know, anything has been, has been done with these properties. So I told her I'd bring it to the meeting. Um, and like I said, they are, they're requesting it from us. So to move forward with these violations, uh, I'd like to make a motion that we uh, have another set of aerial photos done of uh, uh, two addresses, Barb. Yes. Two addresses. Uh, do you remember what they cost before? It's not, it's not it was like eighty dollars. It, it was around eighty. Might have gone up because of gas prices and everything. But the estimate was eighty of last year. I'd like to make a motion that we go ahead and uh, have another set of aerial photos done for these properties. Which not to exceed $180 cost? Well, if it was 80 last year, you know it's going to go up a little because of gas prices. Ben, what exactly are the violations that we have to have retakes of aerial uh, It's for uh, zoning violations, has to do with junkyard and stuff like that. that They want aerial photos where they can match them up to look and see if stuff has been moved, hasn't been moved. Uh, they've had sufficient time to move stuff, so. Can't they just do that by pictures? That's what that's what we're doing. Get well, I mean, other than aerial. We've taken pictures too, but they they requested aerial photos from us too. Who requested that? The prosecutor's office. Yes. Mm -hmm. so, I'll make a motion that we uh, get another set of aerial photos done um, for those couple properties, not to exceed a hundred dollars. Name the properties. Name. Do you have the addresses? No. 14282 National Road. 16246 Laurel Hill Road. Okay. How come you haven't talked to any of these people? You can bring it up to public comment. I brought it up right now. You bring it up public comment, sir. Uh, you're accusing us of something that don't exist. All right. That's it. Is there a second to the motion? No. That's just to see if they're the same or. Same, just... changed, added, or removed. If stuff has been removed, it's going to benefit. If it has not, it's not going to benefit them at all. They've, had, they've got already a set from a year ago. Okay. Remember, we had it done a year ago. Uh, it's been a little bit more than a year. That's why she wants the updates. What about everybody else? What about everybody else? What about the rest of the town? If not, we'll move on. The motion, point of order, Mr. President, the motion was made and seconded, and I, I believe that we can have discussion now. It hasn't been seconded. Oh, yeah, I, thought, I thought Dan did. Did you second it? Oh, I thought you did. I'm sorry, Dan. There's no second, though. You're right. You move on. <laughs> All right, we'll move on. Let's, yeah, let's talk about it. Okay, that's fine. Uh, the second one is to... Um... I have a question. Dan just said, let's talk about it. Um, the photos have to be taken when trees are down. It doesn't work when the, when the leaves are down. If the leaves are up, you can't see anything. It's a waste of your money 
and my time. I know, but another month all the leaves would be off. Correct. The request was to have them taken in November. <clears throat> Request. I haven't been privy to any copies of anything from the prosecutor. You're saying the prosecutors requested from us that we take pictures? <laughs> That's how you... I spoke with her on the phone today. Oh, today? Yes. Okay. I spoke with her on the phone. And I asked her what's going on. And she said her office request that our board have more aerial photos taken. Did she email Jenny or something? Email you and let me have it on an email. That's fine. Or, you know, or do you have an email of it? Um, I have what she sent me in um, June, but I have to have this back. This is not public uh, record. Right it says attorney yeah, just, confidentiality. Just, is that something the trustees have been copied on, or is this the first thing we've also seen? This was sent to me from the prosecuting attorney. About these two specific addresses? These two specific addresses, you know what? That's what I'm asking. Okay. I made copies of them because you've already got them. This, this entire email is about these two properties that you mentioned, the one on National Road and one on Laurel Hill? confidential information, I think the board should be privy to it. Dan just saw it. I think we should be able to see all the facts on this. Because I think that's, we're supposed to be a board here. But I want that back. Is that copy machine set up now? Yeah, we need to put ink in it. But we all right, I'd love to get a copy so I can take, no, take a look at it. Can right? it here? Give it to her for now. Mm -hmm. I'd like a copy of this evening before we leave. You can go make a copy now. No, the ink things aren't even in there. Oh, well, then we have to wait to do that. Or you want me to contact? You want me to contact? That's a good idea. As long as you have it, because yeah. I want it back. I'll make a copy after me. I'll contact Amy uh, tomorrow. I'll get every piece of information that exists on this, because before you can discuss anything, you have to have the information. You just read it. I didn't and you heard it from them. I didn't read it. <laughs> that was your choice. I handed it to you. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll move on. We got a motion and a second to the motion. Do you, if motion. you don't mind, please read the motion so I know what you're voting on. They made a motion for more aerial photos for two addresses to see if there have been improvements made. Um, the photos were requested by prosecutors for 14282 National Road and 16246 Royal Hill. Dan seconded the motion. Roll call. Ben? Yes. Dan? No. Jeff? No. All right, the next thing was to um, Send a violation to the prosecuting attorney's office. Uh, and, uh, I guess I might have rewritten that off, wrote it incorrectly. She has everything because she, of course, guides me for the violations. She would like for the board to vote to bring it forward to um, prosecute. She already has all the records. It's time to prosecute. For number two. For yes. the 16,246. Yes. She wants to. She wants us to make a motion if we do choose so to proceed forward. Yes. That's that's just on what the, the lot split. 
No, there's a Mr. Corpenning has the copies I gave him <coughs> of the violations. There are two of them, and he has them. You put both these in the same motion, are you? No, one's already been forwarded. It was already voted on. I'm only putting the 16246 Laurel Hill in. The National Road is already in her hands. That's what I'm saying. The prosecutor wants um, wants to know if, if we want them to move forward with the 16,000 right. people. To take it to the courts for their violations. Has there been a lot put down? Do you want me to tell you in private or tell you, does everybody have to know what's going on? That's your choice. Okay. I have had the people from the planning out, how many times, Bob? Five times, maybe? We've pulled out the culvert. We've made it look like there was no driveway. We've done about. everything they ask us to do. They will not pass it until every blade of grass mm -hmm. is perfect. And the last time they were just, how many, time, how many days ago? Two days? Two days ago they came out? You know what they said? The ditch is not straight enough. The ditch is not straight enough. That's, that was what they said. I called them again today. I said, I think the ditch is straight now. Can you want to come back out? This is what I've been doing ever since That's we've awful. been here. Who told you that? Who came out? You know? Brad Mercer. <laughs> he said the ditch wasn't straight enough. I just called back there again and emailed him. It's on my email on my phone. Can you come back out? I think the ditch is straight now. Culvert has to be pulled out. Grass, all the gravel had to be scraped off the driveway, make it look like there was never a driveway, make the, the ditch straight. It's, they've been out there five times. Yeah, that's one thing. I mean, why, why would they make you move that gravel or cover the gravel? They made us do it. You, you could sense. gravel the whole yard if you wanted to. Make sense. They made us do it. They made us move all the gravel out of the driveway. Right. I'm to get an attorney. That don't make sense. I'm about to get an attorney on everything. He should. I'm sick of it. Do you know anything about that book? Do you know According to the Planning Commission, nothing has been submitted. According to the prosecuting attorney, when I talked to her, she said, they got their variance in February. It's time to move on. I can't do they have anything. Not, they have not kept in contact with me. I know nothing except for what I've talked to with the Planning Commission. Right I can't do anything until they pass the ditch. You understand what I'm saying? I understand. Okay, you can ask Brad. There's also more violations other than just that lot split. When's the last time you talked to Brad? You said it was pretty recent. Yesterday. Yesterday. So you are working on this. You're trying to We've resolve it. We, they've been out there five times. The gravel is the grass. Well, okay, this looks okay. You've got the driveway where it goes. You've got the driveway where, it, where it's supposed to be on the survey. But you can't have this culvert in the ditch. Okay. So then we got to pull the culvert out of the ditch. we got to scrape all the, dry, the gravel out of the driveway. Call them back out again. The ditch is not straight enough. That's the last thing he said yesterday. Was it yesterday? So that's all you're, you're waiting for him to sign off and then be done? Yes. I can't do nothing until the ditch is straight. Every block is out of the yard. We, we did, it made it look like grass. Do you think it'll be done by next month? I hope so. It's not my doing. Mr. Up, I have a question. Sure. Isn't Laurel Hill a county road? Yes. Doesn't the county maintain those ditches and the culverts? Um, they should maintain the ditches. I don't know what the... If yeah, they the do this... Huh? I don't know what the deal is on that. Because I would think that that's their it's job, not, not their it's, job. That's right. So... But we were told it was our job, and they told us it would come back out as soon as the ditch was straight. Yeah. Well, I, things has changed a lot. I don't know what the county is doing yeah. right. far as, well, as, far as any... Maintenance, because they're uh, even changing the, on the culverts and stuff. What's what's the woman's name? Is it? Well, could somebody find out exactly what the qualifications yeah, are and do something? I want to go in all talk to them. Yeah. Why don't you what's get a hold of Brad Mercer? Uh, yeah. He knows all about it. And the woman, I can't think of her name. Is Kim? I can't remember her name. She came out. She said, I'm going to ask them whether you have to yes, pull that culvert out or not. So she'd been out That's a couple just times. Honest. Then she That's came out and she said, there's not 250 feet between this culvert and this culvert. You have to pull this culvert out. Right. And you have to scrape all the gravel out of the driveway. 
so far from the middle of the road back. I know all the rules. I can't do anything until it passes that ditch. I, I, I tell you. I mean, I know you're right on the 250 between the driveways. No. There's not 250 feet between the two culverts. So now, my guy that lives yeah, there has to, to, to drive up where we had to make the new driveway and drive across the front yard. See that variant. Okay, this is the stupidest thing I've ever heard of. He can't go in the driveway anymore. He has to go in where the new driveway was and drive across the front yard and park it, you know, across the front yard, throw the yard up. This, this is what that we had to do. So. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and talk to the first room. I'm going to table this. We already tore out what I need to have you realize also it's not just the lock split, there are other violations. They were given a variance for the lock splits. They have to act on that. February is one year on that. But this other one was given to them, it's been a year. So there are other parts of this violation. What can I do before they pass that? They told me I can't do anything. Before that, this has nothing to do with the lot yes. split, but I'm talking to him on now. Is this the third one then? No, it's the same violation. They got a variance on part of their <laughs> violation. Does somebody want to give me an idea? Operating and maintaining a junkyard. Where is, is that? that motion on you the have gotten that violation. <laughs> yes, that's the one that that's what we're discussing. Okay, we've had the man from the health department. How many deeds department. they got out there? One or two or nine? Excuse me? How many deeds they got? Just one? So one. I can't well, that's do it. That's why they're doing a lot. That's not to do with that. Well, that's been going on now for right, a year. But that's not what I'm talking about. Ooh, I'm talking about the rest of the violation. They got a variance on that part. They still haven't done anything for the rest of the That's violation. not true. The health department... There's, there's a guy from the health department that I have all kinds of paperwork from who came out and checked everything back there and they, told me what was no. okay and what wasn't okay. He's already been there four or five times. That's to Mr. Nosenberger, he'll tell you. And I can't do anything with the deed until these guys pass the ditch right. now. Right. So it's either we pass it all or none of it? No, no. It's the, the variance is separate because they've already requested a variance. Okay, they've got one year on that. Then I'll bring that back up because I have all the separate paperwork on that. But you've still got the operating and maintaining a junkyard. Nothing has been done to alter that. <laughs> That's the only thing the prosecutor wants. Yes. Area of Yes. Well, what back there is a junkyard? Uh, only thing I ever had was a letter saying that we had to move our tractors. We couldn't have a sign. We couldn't have any uh, any machinery in our field. Um, we couldn't have the car that has license tags and a title. Every you guys all have that letter of what the violation is. All those things. I, I don't know why those have to be moved. Why do I have to move my tractors? Don't forget about the mounds of scrap in their backyard and the side That's yard. been being moved because, and there and is, this and there is aerial photos will prove that they were moved or they've been gathered. We've had complaints listen. that more stuff is There is documentation there. with the health department. You can, I'll give you his number, and he come out to pictures several times. Well, the lot split. We'll the lot split. The I can't do anything until those people get t tired of telling me the ditch is crooked or there's too much gravel or there's this or there's that. All right, let's do it one time. Uh, we'll make a motion of the table. Um, proceed forward with the lot split until next month. Okay. Okay. Ask them how many times I've called them and how many times they've come out. Okay. Is there a second to the motion? No, second. Roll call. Ben. Yes. Dan. Yeah. Jeff. This is a motion to table the lot split. Lot split. Have a prosecutor move forward with the lot split violations because it's been a year. I thought she said it hadn't been a year yet. It had not been a year. Wait, February. February. Okay, can I ask you something? You said we're in violation of that by February. Okay, so are we being prosecuted or something about we're, not we're, having it done? We're going to table it until <coughs> uh, You're going to table it until February? Until next yeah. month. Until next month. Yes, I want to talk to Brad Mercer. And then why next month when we have till February? Find out why, why they're giving you trouble 
about with, the with drive. The with with the Mont Split deal, are we in trouble now or February? I don't think there was a one year time frame put on it. Right? Um, come the new year, I believe the, is it the one year? I believe it's the one year or come the new year, that variance is invalid because nothing was acted on it. So they've got to do something prior to Something has the been acted on it. At, there Get is the no notation in my books that I can present to anyone. I'll, I'll to call, I'm going to talk, I'm gonna talk to, the, to the Brad Mercer. Planning has it. Planning. I will. I'll talk they have it. They've been out there several times. It's something different every time. So, Jeff, what is your proposal? I'm going to move to amend the motion to extend the date until the ex actual expiration. We don't need to There was no expiration set. set. No. One year. Not. No. no. You said one year. Yeah, there was no expiration set when they. Um, we just need to find out why. And well, what is. Explain this one year if you don't mind. Prosecuted, prosecuting attorney said that after one year, the variance that was given is invalid. Because you have reasonable time, and one year is beyond reasonable. Okay, well, I remain with the same mo amendment of the motion. I suggest that we don't proceed until the, that period of one year. For the variance. Well, well, you need to get the paperwork first. We're because going. You can't do anything until that paperwork is here. Well, the, mo right, the motion on the table is to, to proceed to next month, to table it until next month. I think right. we should table it until mm -hmm. the appropriate right. time when it would what, actually be. What brought it up right now? Somebody calling the prosecuting attorney and letting them know that they don't know anything that's going on? The zoning inspector's report, I imagine. Okay. Because that's, that's what I thought. I'm seeing it. That's what I thought. Because that's my job. Yes. You've got a lot more to do, too. All right. Well. What about the uh, violation? Wait. On the wait. No. Well, you need, oh, okay. We have yeah, a motion on the table. Right. We need to finish what we started. Okay. Please. Sorry. Nobody moves to amend the amend to second the amendment. Is there a second you go to back amend to the, the motion? Original motion. Okay. Since there's no second, if you don't mind, can you read what the motion is we're voting on? Then moved to table the lot split violation until next meeting. Dan second make the motion. Jenny, could you speak up? We can't hear you back here. Okay, well, I guess next month we can just do it again and extend it again. So if you're ready for a roll call vote, we can move forward here. I have everybody's vote today, but yours. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're working on I need your vote. Yes. Okay. So basically you're putting it on the agenda for next month. Correct. Right? That's basically all that just happened. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> to the point of the should talk to Brad. Put in the notes that I'm going to call Brad and I'm going to tell him what happened at this meeting and that they've got to get somebody out here and they've got to quit telling us about a ditch being crooked and all this other stuff so that I can get this done. Put that in the notes because I've called them enough. I'll talk to them. So the second one is the operating maintaining a junkyard, correct, Bob? Yes. It's been one year. So what it, if the pictures are different? Then, then what happens? If the pictures show that they've removed some of the sacks that's already back there, that's good. That's showing they've done change. If it shows there's more, she's taking them to court. Well, because they haven't done anything except for add to it. Do you want so they're not, letters from the They're not working on the violation. They're ignoring the violation. Let's table that. So either so the photos are going to pictures. help them or it's not going to. Right. We already decided we're going to do pictures. So. Okay. Um, let's table that until next month. Put that on the agenda. Uh, yes. Okay. Ben has made a motion to table that. Put it on the agenda. Is there a second to the motion? I'll second. Clark. Clark. You want that? Yes. Roll call. Ben. Yes. No, these are these are for yeah. Dan, Mr. Clark yeah. Penning, so you can have multiple copies. Thank you. Are you doing a roll call? Sorry, yes, I am. Yes. Is that all you have for your report, Barb? Um, when I come to the next meeting, I will make sure I have the old photos and the new photos, <laughs> so you, the table, can see it also. Okay. So yes, that was it. Mr. Pratt.
President? Yes. Do you remember the letter that we had that told us what we had to move? Do you remember that? Do you have a copy of that where it said our tractors, a sign, a car? Yes, I remember that. Everybody Do you remember all those things? I remember my problem. I had no idea. Okay, I, remember I know it. Jeff has a copy of it for sure. No one has ever told me except saying, well, you got the violation, you got the violation. Why? we have to move those things on that list and how those are a junkyard. How my tractors at the end, out in our field is a junkyard, how the car that's tagged and licensed, how that is a junkyard, and how the sign I have out here is a junkyard, and right down to my Mitt Romney signs had to be removed. I that's think, against the Supreme Court. I think the Board of Elections told you that, didn't they? The no, knows. they told me I did not have to remove those, and that was took before the Supreme Court. That you, you as a township, is illegal to tell a person they have to remove those. Only the township. Now, which things on the list that we were given as violations do you want moved? No one has ever told me that. That was, that was a list. And the car, if you could produce. You know, that it it's has got a tag on it. Title. It's got a title. It's got all that. Plate. But somebody wrote that down without checking that, that this has to be moved. Well, I can just going to say, look, here's this. Why do I have to prove anything? That person needs to prove that it's a junk car. That's her job. Mm -hmm. Now, the other thing that, mm -hmm. that the, the, the um, tractors, I was told, well, why don't you move them back up by the house? Why do I need to? It's my property. We use them to bale hay. Well, none of those run. Well, yes, they do. They all ran. I have witnesses. We had them all moved and lined up, and we had an auction out there, and we're selling some of them. They do move, except for one out there that has a flag in it. I think that's the only one. So can you, guys, can you guys park your tractors where you want them on your property? Refresh my memory. Do you remember what the rule okay. was on this? What? Now, when you look up that list, you tell me what needs to be moved. I'll have to look at the list and we'll get back. Okay, I want you to do that. Very good. I know there was a ruling on that of what stated. But I still don't know what the ruling was. Why it had to be ruled. All right. Is there any appeals? Comprehensive plan? Park committee? One pay rental in October, $25. November bookings. Um, we have the election. Uh, the free rental for four days. Uh, there's an auction coming up on the 9th. An auction on the 7th. An auction luncheon on the 9th. Uh, a church bazaar on the 23rd. And then two rentals on the 28th and 29th. Uh, the next port committee meeting is November 19th. Here's the money for the one rental. Good. The 19th. Let me know if you want to get this. Uh, I said last meeting I purchased some more tables for the community building. I was at Lowe's. They didn't have the same tables at Matchstars, so I'm going to look at another Lowe's uh, and then also check the Home Depot. I kind of like to get some stuff that all matches. So. Um, I'll start with some papers. I just had done. So. Um, uh, the park committee. Kind of be under. I'm finished with it, I guess. The brick, brick project was completed. Um, we had quite a good turnout to help do that. There was probably 10 or 12 people that turned out that day, um, September 28th, to do that. So that's done. If anybody had seen it, obviously it's around a flagpole. Looks pretty good. Um, <coughs> I want to thank everybody that come. Definitely want to thank Tim. He kind of took a big part in that. So he uh, he's pretty knowledgeable on that stuff. So I thank him a lot. Then also we did the flag raising ceremony on October fifth. Um, went pretty well. I think we had about 40, 45 people turn out for that. Um, I want to thank the American Legion Post from uh, County Line Road for coming down and helping us out with that. That's all I have on the report committee. Yeah. 
unfinished business. Road grant. Yes, um, now that the road project has been completed, we need to turn in the receipt so that we can, so that um, Ohio Public Works Commission can send out the letter or the check to Smalls for the work that they completed. And I need the project manager's signature. So that would be Jeff's. I need your signature on there at the top where, right above where your name is. Okay, well. As the project manager on this, I have certain responsibilities, uh, and if I sign this with the information I have right now, that would officially make me a rubber stamp. So in order to uh, process this in a timely manner without any uh, delay, and to make sure they get paid properly, um, because I was uh, not informed by either Smalls or the rest of this board or had communication of any of the scheduling, even though that's what the project manager is supposed to do. To make this easy, I move, uh, because Dan, I, I understand you were there, there's a lot of things in question. I haven't seen one uh, slip on materials or anything, but to make it easier, I just move at this point, uh, so you can get your signature, that uh, Dan Van Buren be assigned as the project manager on the remainder of this project. says that they, I believe they received the uh, paperwork. I think it says they have 28 days to respond before any actions would move forward. Have you heard anything on that? Have you been contacting Mr. Shackleford or anything? I've been following it online from the time it became a case and had a case number, and that's all I have for you. I would request a copy of this uh, form that uh, is being submitted. I guess we'll have to do that at the end of the meeting as well. So I can take it home with me. I'd like a copy of that also, please. <coughs> Jenny, that's yeah. all right. <laughs> New business. We discussed before about getting the center. Yeah, we discussed about getting the senders to get some time more on the good and look for checking out. Get the center fence filled up. Is there anything left out of your place? Oh, yeah. Is it? Maybe we'll give in there while they're still dry. Mm -hmm. and, uh, let's see what we do. Where are we with the salt situation right now? Not in school. As far as our obligations, Jenny? We purchased what we needed to purchase. For the last contract. Is it been done? We don't down have any more room for anything else right now. Center. Center. Just I don't have anything else on a new business. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I just had a question for you. I was contacted by the state auditor. I understand they had some issues of getting the last draft audit information back and 
from what I understand, I read an email after the fact, but I understand you had a special meeting. Could you elaborate on what, what that was about? What was a special meeting? It was just a meeting with the auditor to sign the final paperwork and get my records back. And we have received them back? Yes. And the full audit is online, not the auditor. The draft version is not online. Uh, I finally did receive a copy of that. I had requested it from you in the future, as I've always asked for it. When the draft audit comes, I appreciate a copy of it because that's not public record. Wasn't it and attached the, and what to goes, that email? And what goes on, it was attached to the email I got a few days ago. I'd like to see it before it goes from draft to the final. That's the point of checks and balances. So just, if you don't mind, next year, like it won't be next year. It'll be two years from now. And I probably won't remember, so you'll have to ask me again. Okay. I certainly will put it on my calendar. Because I think it's important that every trustee sees the audits and potential things that, that uh, yeah. I would think you'd welcome that in order to make sure that everything is done correctly. Were you contacted by the auditor when the audit started? No. Yes, you were. Yes, you, were. No. you received an email that no, asked if you had anything that they wanted to look into further. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. I received the email that had you tagged on it, Jeff. I did you not receive it. such an email. <laughs> ben, I'd appreciate it if you not tell me what I have or have not received. I'm telling you. I if I had that reason. email, I would have seen the draft immediately when it was available to see. Here's the check to know it. Hmm. Appreciate it. if we can finish up the meeting with Jess Lee tonight. You mm -hmm. you guys have any other new business? Mm -hmm. No? I do not know. Pretty good. Uh, oh, I do have one other thing. Uh, I want to request a copy from you, Jeff, of the, um, the final finished up letter that you had sent to the Energy Co-op to Margie Klein, um, everything that you had sent to her. I already provided you with that. I made copies I'm for, asking you for a copy. I already provided you and everyone else with that, and everyone on the front committee. Would you like to have it? A copy of everything that you sent to her. So you can have that. You I've can... already provided you with that. I'm asking Jenny you. should also have it. I'm asking you for a copy of everything that you sent. If you need it again, if this copier works, I'll get my my copies of it and make you another copy. Yes, please. I'd like to have everything that you sent to her. You've already received it. Thank you. All right, we're going to move on to public comments. Back here again. Go ahead, Dick. Uh, uh, Jeff had called me when Barb had his own paper that uh, uh, he wanted to see the letter from the prosecutor. He said that uh, it should be present for all the board members to view. Well, you know, I think, if I'm not mistaken, uh, tonight's three months since he's been here. He hasn't been here tonight. Then what would he done? Six months brought up that he didn't see it? And also, I want to make a comment. The back of the agenda, when the money gets spent, there's uh, Jeff, Dan, Jack, Jack Hedges, Don Watkins, <coughs> the amount of their checks. And I have a question why Jeff is higher than all the other guys that's actually going to work. Is there a reason for that? He has been in three months, and I, you know, just don't seem right, does it? I think it's <laughs> Well, I appreciate your concern. I can answer the question. I mean, if you want to ask Jeff directly, you can ask him directly. Did you answer that, Jeff, why your check's higher? Why my check's higher than the others? It has to do with the uh, taxes and deductibles and things taken out, like any other employer. That's why it's going to vary a little bit. Each trustee is compensated the same. Could I get a copy of all that and see if that's accurate? Principal yeah. officer would have that information. I have nothing to do with the, the set wage that's all set in the Ohio Revised Code. Compensation of trustees is based on the percentage of budget, and all three are the same. Yeah, thank you. Any other public comment? Yeah, I got something I want. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, um, probably, um, elections, um, elections, uh, signs, the campaign, uh, my understanding is zoning, you got two weeks to pull, after, um, 
I collect them over, what is it, two weeks? Two Hold weeks. them up for 24 hours. Two weeks? Two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. In the Bowling Green Township. Yeah, it's right weeks. in the zoning. So, I mean, you know, I don't know what you can say. Everybody want it. People must want the zoning in. So it's in. Now you got to be happy about it. So, so if it's in, you got to follow the rules. But it does state that. I mean, it's been there ever since I was on the zoning committee. So, I mean, you know, I don't know. You guys know what zoning best thing to do is get people and get the zoning out. Or otherwise, just go with it. Can I answer that? Do you have a complaint or something? Cause I, no, cause she they, is stating, that she stated, it is public comment, but she stated earlier that, you know, she can keep her um, can, campaign sign up. I don't really don't care if she keeps up 50 years, but I do know in the zoning itself, it does have that everybody has the signs up in two weeks. Yeah. You know. okay. Can I answer that? Good. He missed, he missed the point. I gave you guys letters from the Supreme Court saying that a township cannot do that. You are illegal to have that in the resolution, and there has been people take that before the Supreme Court. Yeah. I'm sorry, I haven't seen that. Have you seen no, I'm not saying that. I haven't no, seen no. it. Andrew, I'm not you're saying that. Now, no. that if I wanted them up, They're my friend. I could put them up. It's against, you're against the Supreme Court. I mean, put it back See, up. you're misunderstanding you what I'm saying. I'm not saying that. The point you're missing is that it is saying. against the law for the township to do that against the Supreme Court. That's what I'm trying to tell you. To enforce the zoning rules. I, I, I to don't enforce know, I don't that rule. That is, that is, uh, I would like to see what do you that. call that? Mm -hmm. Free speech. That, that is, that's against the law. It's like free. It's, it's against the law. Now, I might put them back up and say God loves Mitt Romney, and then it'll be a it'll be a religious sign. Okay. I like the religious sign. Thank you. There's the answer to that. Look it up on the website, on the internet. Ron, I understand exactly what you were saying, and I'm really sorry that she, people twisted yeah, she's it. Twisted. You don't have to apologize for me. All right, we're gonna move on. Go ahead. Yeah. I'd like to say they did a good job on Somerset Road, but what dictate where your driveway got an apron or not to? I got a three-inch drop dropping into my driveway. Anything that had dropped should have got sloped. It wasn't sloped. Well, it didn't slope mine a lot, so ever. Well, we're at the question. We'll, we'll come up and take a look at it. I mean, if we got to put a little bit. Yeah, if we got to put a little bit of speed grinding or something in there, we could do that. So. Still got to do something like this. But we, I had another call on something, you know, where they didn't slope. Most of them are, they took the roll and sloped them. So. Okay. But I'll come up and take a look at it. They did a good job before they paid me. We appreciate it. Uh, uh, up the road from him on the right. Uh, an address, I don't know, off the top of my head. On the right. Which way down the road? South. That's what you're home ball time. I had probably a five inch drop off. All right. Any other public comment? I have a question. Last month we were told that somebody's going to come up and take a look at the uh, weeds and you know, stuff in the ditches running along the uh, south side of our property. Nobody showed up. Also, the trees running down Bowling Green Street. That's an east-west street. To that you know, the, the into the street. And I did. I that. did drive up in there. I drove the, the one the truck up in there. I need to trim the the branches because they hit the mirror. But other than that, I didn't have any trouble. It's been five months. But what about no? The, I was up there when yeah. Tim it's been, been, it's been five me. months we're, since we're, someone has work. come up and like we requested that being done. This is the fifth month. That's and Dan, you promised that. us that that would be done within two weeks. Yeah, I, I, but you did. I, I went up there and looked at it. I drove, Tim, Tim was with me. Yeah. And uh, it hit on the mirrors. It but, does. But I drove that the big truck up there and turned around in your driveway and come back out. That's that's the only trouble I had is it hitting on the mirror. But what about all the weeds that are up above there and the ditches up above there? They're blocking the water. South of the property. Water blocking the water. The Fall that comes down from Beach Street and up above Beach Street because they're not clear. They got six feet of weeds in there again, and the last person that came up there and cleaned it out was Jeff Torpenny. Seems to know what he's doing. Did a good job for him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Was it? Mm -hmm. yeah. So you recall that? Why did you water? 
out Beach Street instead of running down across that ditch. And that would solve the problem. It's a natural waterway. Yeah. But it, it is only if they keep it clean. If you don't keep the ditches cleaned out, now, I mean, there was money there years ago, and two and three years ago to keep those dishes clean. What happened to the damn money? Where is it now? Why can't we get the dishes cleaned out now? We're talking about money. Yeah. The money there. It, I mean, the money was there. You guys got paid to clean out those dishes two and three years ago. We cleaned up your two before it was in there. There's no stuff that I'm talking about up above us. There's nothing thrown in there. Rich, that's Richie Bowles. He was full of snakes and grew up to home. I can't, I can't have anything to do with snakes. I don't have anything to do with snakes. Richie, <laughs> run. <laughs> All right, well, you took a look at the trees that you yeah. drove right in the front. Yeah. I hate snakes. They locked yeah. off to the property owner on that. Yeah. I, they, they did hit the mirrors when I drove in. They scratched the cars. Tell how wide that street is up there. Uh, what the actual right away is, I, I don't know. I'd find out. 16 and a half foot? It, it probably is. I, I could call tomorrow and find out. <clears throat> right. Bob? I, I got one question, please, on this uh, let's get Bob's towing debacle. Is, now, when these cars, I got the registrations to and tagged on it. Now, any other car in the complete township and county that's setting will have to have a registration and tags brought in to you and shown to you. Yeah, when yeah. I bring in mine and any other car setting, you're going to, if I, here's this car setting, you're going to bring it in and show it to the public. There's certain criteria that it has to meet. Uh, like what? Bar, uh, off the top of your head, do you know what the three criteria are for a jump car? I never did anything on a jump car with them. But I do want to make one comment. There was a car at the end of the lane, that white Never, car. ever did anything on a junk vehicle on him. Yeah, you did. Okay. Um, they never received any record on a junk vehicle. You had junk meetings. At no point in time was your address ever brought up. Right. Now, I do have one statement because this is on public record. It's on recording all over the place. He just stated he has a business. That's one of the things he's in violation for. He is not allowed to have a business. There's no rule like that. There is a rule. He is not allowed to have a business where he is at. He is not grandfathered. Well, read the zoning. Time will tell. I want some forms. I want some forms to fill out. So everybody in the township, whether they're, you know, no matter what, they can't have a business? No, there's designated not, areas. As long as he's not operating. If, if he's just saying, you know, Bob's painting, that's a business. One of his violations is he has a bunch of scraps and junk, and he had at one point in time massive amounts of junk vehicles that he's been towing off roads and bringing up there. He did at one point in time remove these. Not all of them, okay? In the agricultural district, you are not allowed to have a business unless it's agricultural. Well, prior to zoning, true. if you had it, prior to zoning, if you had that business, no, that business is grandfathered. No. The, the way I understand it is you can have a business, a paying like, business, whatever, but right. you can't have somebody come to your house and do business at your house. You cannot so bring in vehicles and stuff and have a scrapyard either. That is a violation. We do not have a scrap yard in our zoning. It is a violation. To make the statement that you can't have a business is not accurate. That's okay. That yeah, that's not true. Um, and and they went as far some time ago as saying we couldn't even have parts for her vehicles on our property. Containing the junkyard. Yeah, Jimmy Moyer did that one. Please, please, Mr. President, can we get back to my question? No, go ahead. You have that car. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Now, any automobiles... Why down? If any automobiles that are sitting in this township, the person that owns this automobile is going to have to bring you registration, and the public is going to know this. If there is a call uh -huh. to the board or the zoning inspector, Oh, no, wait, oh. no, wait a minute. No, no, no. There should not have to be a call. It's, it's, it's her, the zoning inspector is only going after two people in there. 
all the time. That's not true. There is many, 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 many people in here that has cars sitting in their driveway. Okay, with let me, tax. Are you going to finish? Okay, so that's there's a call. She will do a follow-up. If it meets certain criteria, she'll write a violation if you can prove that, that it does not meet those criteria. How am I going to prove it if I don't, you know, they don't bring in their papers? Who, who else do we have? So if nobody list? calls her, it's legal. And if somebody calls her, it's legal. Do you have a complaint about a car? People. Not at this time. If people, you have a complaint about a car, it'll make it. She only goes after people that the neighbor no. calls on no, all sir. the time. No, sir. No, sir. Nobody no. else. No, sir. I'm not complaining. The, my automobile is not a jump video. It's a 1973 Pontiac Le Mans. It's a classic car. It runs, it drives, and I have tags on it. Okay. But it's on that list to be removed as a violation. It's on that list. This is what I well, meant. Well, it does not meet the criteria of jumping on your vehicle to be taken off that list. But it has, has never, I've never got anything saying that these things are taken off. They're all still violations. Well, Dan, there's a simple solution to that. Just bring in this title, get a picture of the registration on the car. That's what, what, what they ask And I don't bring it in. Make that statement that you can run it off. That vehicle is not a All right, all right. If you guys can do it. You, you brought in the registration. We ben, saw that. Nobody pursued that any further. Ben, what I'm trying to say is, I was told that the only time she goes after anybody is if somebody complains. So everybody else that has all the same, could have the same things, and they're okay That's and they're legal. That's not true. But it is, because we're the, just a couple of us are the only ones, and it's because our neighbor complains continuously. If there's a complaint made to me, this board is going to get followed up on. Is there, is there a form that needs to be filled out for all these complaints? No. Okay, because we've got a neighbor around the corner that's hauling illegal stuff according to what his business is, and nobody ever does a thing to him, and somebody's real close to that person. And we, and we, don't, we don't ask, we don't know, know our names. We all know who they are. I've said it many times. There's four people in this neighborhood that's grandfathered in. With well, he ain't, he ain't grandfathered in to do what right. he's doing. Did I answer your question about the car? You, you brought the registration on that issue before. Unless everybody else has to do that. Everybody else has to do it too? No, you brought the registration in. Why do I have to do it? Because it was on the list. Why was it on the list? And you brought it in to prove. But why was it on the list? Mark, because it was not moved. It had been not moved. It is I don't want to do this to my neighbors, but I'll have to. I why know. was that car on the list instead of somebody looking and seeing that there was tags on it? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna come on your property personally and walk over and look at this little It was right there. by the road. That the car is right by the road. And you can see Why it. Why did the person put sticker? that on the list? Use it to you move it. <laughs> you don't know what it says. It just says. Do you move it? No. Why do I have to move it? Because it's on my property. It must be. No, that's if it's in town and it's in the No, that's zoning. That's everywhere. The junk vehicle is everywhere, but that's not what they're on. Oh, they have the never long received long a junk case notice. All right, all right. Now, if any of you have a second car that you just leave it sit there for a week at a time without driving it, then it's illegal. No, there's a certain amount of time limit. Yes. I, I, I don't have my book it's on me today, years, it's a lot. but I can give you everything according to it. This is unbelievable. All right. Any other public comment? Yeah, I'm going to move to a. I, I'm, I'm going to move to another country. Yeah. Why now? I have a question as to why Moyers Road was blacktop and patched that way instead of using chip seal. I mean, was there a reason for this? I don't understand. That's a lot more money. You can't smooth out. A, you, you can chip and seal over a rough road. You got a rough chip and seal road. But that was expensive. If you chip and seal, chip and seal. If yeah, you have, you, you, how are you going to fix it? My question is, where did the money come from? I, it, to me, I'd love to have blacktop in front of my road. They chip and seal. I'm on the county. Right. We spend seventy-five, eighty thousand dollars a year on road maintenance. The guys were out. We actually got a price break because they were out that way. If you I take a road, if you take a road, chip and seal that's busted up into chunks, which it was, and you chip and seal over that, in a month, it's going to be chunks again. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, if you blacktop over that, it's going to hold. He says he didn't want it because the people now, because Somerset Road is closed, they're flying up and down that road now. We're just trying to make it easier to maintain and work on. It's going to hold. So now, a couple years from now, when we tar and chip it, we're going to tar and chip over the blacktop, and now it'll hold. That's all I want to know. I just learned why they have blacktop. 
Any other public comment? Ben, um, I just wanted to make it you know, part of public record that when Friends of Bowling Green Township hosted to meet the candidates tonight, we checked with Barb and there was no other reservations for that night. However, it was posted on Facebook on the Bowling Green Township Volunteers webpage that we actually bumped a paying customer from that night and that they did not get to use that building. Uh, I checked with Barb and she assured me that there were only two reservations during that entire month and they were both on a Saturday and there was no one had reserved it that night. I don't know, and they want to meet that candidate. That ben candidate. and I did not have nothing to do with that. No. Set it up. I no, all it. five candidates received I, a letter. I received a letter in the mail. I didn't have, we didn't have nothing to do with that. No, all five candidates received a letter. They were all sent the same day. They were sent to the address that was on from the Board of Elections, and only two candidates bothered to show up. Well, there was no contact information on it, and uh, if you call me, I had a charity auction in Columbus, so I couldn't be there. I probably got the same letter you got, guarantee it. Yeah, and and they didn't ask me about what a good night was, but you know what? I made it work. I couldn't. I had already made I had previous engagements, and it was not in Lewis to do it, so that's my, but I had no way to call. No information on there, and it was like, well, who am I supposed to call? I mean, nobody sends out a letter like that. Well, no, I know nobody. But see, the thing is, even working for the township, when we got to go out and work for them, we don't have to call nobody. We're supposed to be there to do the job. You know. Well, I know. But if I have, when we have to go out any time. It don't make any difference. We got a couple more real quick. Go ahead, Dave. Well, I'd like to thank everyone to come out tonight. There's a big get out here tonight and bet see if I can make it out. And uh, like I say, don't forget to vote. Very good. Thank you. Maybe. Which one? Is it Jeff and Gary and Bill Bourne out of New Jersey? Cool Yonkins. That's the only ones that will put their names. Well, Gary Steps started putting his name on it. Excuse me, Jeff. Yeah. 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 I put my oh. name on there. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
for having a phone of her own. I, I really believe that the board should buy her a phone. There's unlimited text, and she'll have her own phone, and, and people can't complain that, you know, she's doing anything wrong. I think she should have her own phone. It's $30 a month? $30 a month plus the phone is $39.99. Well, we're, we're actually paying less than that right now for it. We're actually paying $25 a month. Yeah, her phone. Her yeah. But, but it's record. personal. Right. I'll keep getting you out of five bucks. Yeah, we want to be public running. <laughs> I mean, we're, we're paying less than that. I don't. Five more dollars in public record. I don't say the law board to see from her would be her work, you know, with her time sheet. So, I mean, you can use that as a law board. Yeah, you have access to that. Yeah, you do. You have access. It's public record if you want to. Her work or time sheet, we can give you a copy of that. Well, it's not just for me, it's for anybody that wants sure, to Sure, that's not a factor. Anytime she's going to be a phone that, you know, I think would be great. Then she wouldn't have to mix that with her personal phone. That's only the smart thing, really, to do. Well, we're paying less than that now, so, I mean, I don't We have talked about that before, about giving your own phone back. Right. And that really isn't, I agree, that's a fair I think it's, I think it's a, an excellent idea, yes, and that way, right now, the prosecuting attorney, which you stated at the last meeting, said that that was for personal information. Right. Anything that has to do with a township meeting where people are involved, and the board's involved is public record. Sure. Yeah. So if she's going to get the phone, then a law, national law of the call she makes and who, how long she's talking. But if she has her own phone, we can't check into that. You can check her, no logs, just her time card. You know, and I'm not sticking up the bar, but there's a lot of things, you know, we don't pay for her internet. You know, she provides that, but she uses it for the township. We don't pay for a home office. But but that's you know. on her phone, though. So, okay. if, no, they, the if she had her own phone, I, I, we can discuss it. I mean, phone. Will you put internet on it? We can discuss it. Right? <laughs> it has internet on it. it has for thirty dollars, you can get internet unlimited. Mom and I both have LG phones, and all my kids have LG phones. Unlimited internet. I'm just asking. You, Actually, yeah. you get all your phones. Oh, yeah. Thirty dollars a month. Okay. And your phone. Yeah, I think it's like three or four dollars for the insurance. If you drop your phone, you send it in, you can get another one replaced free. And it's an upgraded model. Oh, gee. Can we table it till next meeting? I'll look at it, look online, and see what they cost and all that good stuff. See if I get any specs on them, any good or bad. LTG, right? LG. Just LG. 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 Yeah. Okay. They have different plans. You can get different plans. Mm -hmm. But they're really nice phones. You have to buy like a card every month. Yeah. You can buy it right online, it's no big deal. Everybody has that access. Most of everybody has access to the internet now. You can buy it right online. Prepaid cards. Gotcha. Yeah, they're just little prepaid cards. That'd be like Boost Mobile. Gotcha. I, I haven't heard from the committee that was going to rebuild Brownsville and, and Bowling Green Township. Has anybody got done anything? What's that? What do you mean? We're, we're going to bring all kinds of new things here. And, and you have a committee? What day in here? They're going to we need to the comment. Yeah. Do you have that committee? Huh? I thought I saw it. Like planning committee? No, the Walmart. We got yeah, they were going to make Brownsville and Bowling Green Township come alive. The Walmart. We have that committee. Sure what we were told is nobody wants to live here because yeah. of how bad everything works. Yeah. But that, that ain't the reason. Let me tell you. There ain't nothing here. What looks bad? We don't want We don't really live in the dark ages. Yes. We don't even have water out here. There's nothing here. Well, there's nothing we can do about that. I mean, we can't. Well, I'm sorry, but there is. Uh, we've talked to Kevin Eby, and we've talked to the, man, the water manager in Jamesville, the one that brought the vine to Gray Shot. And yes, there is. There's a lot that we can do about it. I see now you're crossing county, you're going from the scan of the Yeah, lake. it doesn't make any difference because <coughs> half of Gray Shot is Licking County. The water that? Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 areas, yeah. and the Sainsville manager that was over the water um, management system there, 
he told us that if people wanted them here, that we could get it here. It's just a matter of wanting it. He so you, we I, did I want it. That's it. It's a matter of wanting so it. If people want it, we can discuss it. And yeah. the person that we needed to talk to, he used to live here, right in the street, right in front of me, was, was Kevin Eby. He's over to the, he's over the water. I don't know who that is. Yeah. Well, it's, it's, it's Kevin Eby. He used to live right in front of me. Oh, yeah. I didn't want that. Yeah, yeah. I know the house you're talking about. He's over. He's manager there. He's the management now. Gotcha. <laughs> I can ask him. I can call down here and say, do you guys have any forecasted plans to do anything? You know, just kind of see what I, their projection is. I have is. all the information. I have four pages of information on it if you'd like to have it. I'll sure. be glad to send it to sure. you. Sure. Or bring it in to me. That's fine. It's definitely it. I mean, if that's something people want, we can look into it. I, I don't know if it happened or not. I don't know. Yeah. I know they received government funding to do that down there. Partial. Right, they're going to do their own system. They decided not to come out from the county, so they received some kind of government Well, the reason why we called Kevin was because of Gray Shock's water wells and a lot of the systems which are in the big engine and things here yes. have partial gas. Right. Right. And that's why they, they made them do away with them. Right. Yes. Exactly. Excuse me. Good, I got to say this I've been here over 40 years. It's to me, is one of the best communities I ever lived in. I used to live in the tax law. That was a nightmare. And you people over there, everybody else complaining about Bowling Green, is a bunch of baloney. I raised my kids here. They raised their kids here. And to me, I don't have a problem with Bowling Green. Okay, I got okay. problems with people sometimes. You have an income. But wait a minute. I listen to you. You listen to me. <laughs> and I didn't even interrupt you. Now, I'm just stating, I'm so sick of everybody cutting Bowling Green Township down. No, we're, we're, I think we're great people. Now, if you people don't like it, find somewhere else to go. That's the best thing I can say. All we want to do is be able to pay our bills. No, you just want to complain. We haven't started any other right, things right. against us. Okay. Is there any other public comment for anybody? Go ahead. I have a comment on sure. that deal there. I, I lived in Pickerton in 1981 when there was nothing out there. They would take me to get from my house to the freeway. It took me four minutes. And now it takes you 40 minutes. Yes. Yeah. Right. So if you guys yes. want to sit on 40 yeah. in a traffic jam, yeah. yeah, you can have all the McDonald's. And yes, stuff. you're right. Yeah. 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 That's what we're saying. I think you guys are missing the point. No, yeah. you yeah. said it. Yeah. 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 Yeah